Prostagma. Alright, so this is a fun and cool mission. We actually cheesed the hell out of this one originally. And basically just rushed down the enemy. We're not doing that this time around. We're going to be doing this more quote-unquote traditional route. Um, but we are going to implore a couple of different tactics to make our lives considerably easier. Because this is actually a really challenging mission when you play straight up on Titan. So, but as always, I've got my tips, I've got my tricks. First thing we're going to want to do, grab the upgrade to upgrade walls and basically take care of these tents to reduce the enemy pop cap. We're going to build walls to protect our lands because the enemy just love to backstab in this mission. And because there's like four different routes into our base, it's difficult to know where they're going to attack you from. So what we're going to do is limit their options, essentially. I'm actually going to take six one way. Two the other. So we're going to double block that particular path. These guys are going to take into the command center. We will be utilizing the farms that are already pre-built for us, just not yet. Snipe these guys and get out of the range of towers. And yes, this is a race against the time, technically. A race against the clock, I should say. And what this does is buy us an insane amount of time. Armory. In wedge. So now we just got to figure out where the enemy is going to attack. Do a new base here. Knowing is half the battle. Knowing where they're going to show up. Uh, these guys can now move over to this. Stop. Um, dwarf production. In fact, you guys are going to have to start because I haven't got enough gold anymore. I'm going to grab the uh, resist wall resistance upgrade. I don't really know why we have Loki's Ravens, but we do in this mission. Uh, this is eh, kind of worth picking up, kind of not. The enemy's on that side. Interesting. Looks like there's not moving though. Walls really do mess up AI in um, Age of Games. It's actually surprising just how much they mess up the AI. So we are going to want to start building a couple of these guys. And we are going to want to age up ASAP Rocky. Attacking this one. Oh, that's how they use their god power to destroy it. I was going to say, that died pretty quick. For an upgraded wall. With upgrades. <laughs> Yes, that would explain it. Let's grab these guys to rebuild this. This increases hit points by 15%. 
Very powerful upgrades. We should turn these into towers. Start thinking about aging up, so we need lots of gold. Uh, I'm gonna pull these guys away now. Have them focus on food production. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this definitely looks like the area they're focusing most heavily on is in the enemy. Auto rally to my team because I need people in defensive locations to uh, slow down the enemy. I can't build a gate there, which I really want to. I'm going to have to rebuild. Take care of this temple. Go for Njord, so I want stone uh, mountain giants. So actually trying to take down the enemy is very, very difficult at this stage of the game. It was easy early on, which is why we cheesed it originally, but at this point the enemy's defences are ridiculous. We do want to take care of these battle boars. This uh, temple certainly reduces the number we have to face. We are going to want to age up again as well once we've done this. Definitely overdone that. That's way oversaturated. We do want to take control of these mines once these have run out. We are no way ready to take on what the enemy is throwing our way at the moment, so I'm going to instead just build up some more walls. Something. I can drop that relic off now. Grab the upgrade for uh, enhanced... Um, Oh, what is it for? Uh, Where escape me? Um, enhanced pop cap. He's basically building walls everywhere we can to slow down the enemy. Control group. They actually attack me from this direction this time, huh? This is exactly the reason why we have rules, so that we can buy time. 
Like I say, the enemy is not afraid to backstab in this mission. In fact, they actively do that. Upgrade uh, gives you uh, money as well as favor when fighting with cavalry. And we are going to be transitioning to a little bit of cavalry as well. Eventually, we are going to have to do something about the enemy um, attacks by uh, actually cutting the uh, the head off the snake, so to speak. I'm actually very short on. Um, Wood production. Just gonna build a second wall. Buy us some more time. Okay, that's quite a small force. But this, the, the walls are serving their purpose. They're slowing down the enemy, so we've got time to react. We know what to commit to each area, troops wise. In fact, over here, we probably want to build a hill fort. Uh, we just need to sort out our wood income problem. Problem is, once we start breaking down these walls, the enemy has so much in reserve. We really do need to max out our upgrades, max out our strength before we even consider genuinely taking the fight to the enemy. These guys, they're my gold. Fixed up. Skiapan. We are not going to be defending forever, don't worry. We just need to uh, get ourselves into position. Where we are basically ready to rock and roll and attack the enemy on our terms. Um, I will go bolder, but I won't be using the uh, Ragnarok. Straight away. I actually think even with Ragnarok, I think this is a challenging mission. Because <laughs> um, yeah, it's not just myth units you have to deal with, it's all the other units as well. So I think it's better actually not to use Ragnarok. I do want to build a second wall. Easy over here to deal with that. Yes, 
Jossa. Ja Atraus. Jossa. Ja Ahilkia. Stop dealing with some of this. Eventually we are going to have to deal with their infrastructure. I'm not going to... Oh, what? Oh, I can there. Oops. Okay, fine. We'll deal with uh, this problem. Fires to put out everywhere. Wow, a man, really. You are something else. The sheer number of units they send is kind of ridiculous. We need to, uh, we need to actually take the fight to the enemy now. Defense known get you so far. Yeah, 
to catch them when they're attacking you. Kind of where we want them to actually. This is quite the mission. Defending this uh, push on the attack. Any troops. So much resource. I'm gonna, gonna pop the nuclear missile, so to speak. Start rebuilding eco just in case. But yeah, that should hopefully be enough to deal with the enemy. But yeah, what a mission. This is, in case you're wondering, this is why I decided to uh, choose this mission. Because it is a, uh, it's a crazy one. Where the hell did that just come from? It just randomly summoned a son of muscle, huh? Rude. At least now we're getting into their uh, actual infrastructure. Well, I've seen two defends, whilst team one takes care of all this. Jesus, at least they one shot everything. <laughs> Actually having these guys defend I think is a sensible option. So we are going to actually just straight up destroy the enemy, we're not going to just do the uh, the objective even though we could at this point. Wow. 
Make sure to target that building. That's actually pretty useful. Yeah. Where I think bracing our pop cap. Like, I knew this was going to be a tough mission. I didn't expect it to be quite this challenging, to be fair. Good mission, though. This is a really good mission. I'm impressed. Ragnarok is just too good. There's just no two ways about it. Ragnarok is broken, quite frankly. But things were looking pretty south until I popped that bad boy. I definitely think the way that um, Norse gain favor is actually legit over overpowered. Like the fact that I've got 900 faith remaining, I can pop another Ragnarok if I wanted. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Although the uh, abilities we start off with are pretty rubbish. Genuinely, I dislike both of those um, god powers. I think they're terrible. That is pretty much all she wrote for this mission. Just curious if there's anything down here. No. Okay, cool. Let's finish this bad boy off then. A genuinely crazy mission. Well, boys and girls, that'll right about do it for this bad boy. Alright, GG's. Very, very challenging mission, however. Woof. <laughs> Do not let the appearance fool you. The well will take us to Niflheim. You go first, Chiron. If you fall screaming to your death, we'll just stay here. Ah! When you decide which of you will go first, 
I'll be waiting at the bottom. Ah. <laughs> Brilliant. Alrighty folks, so that'll worry about do it for this challenging mission. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.